Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm here with Clifton. We're gonna get funky with the AX73 by Martinique. I'm excited to see this product. We here at um, East West Recording Studios in um, LA, Sunset Boulevard, with Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones dropped that Thriller album. Thank you for having us. This All is right. a, a great opportunity to show this beautiful synthesizer here. And Martinique is a group of individuals who are doing amazing, you know, DSP work and bringing beautiful things back to life in the current state. And I'm happy to be here with a great team of individuals and to show a great uh, synthesizer. So let's get rolling. Oh man, I'm excited <laughs> about this. Just to see what's this, to see it, to see it function, man. Yeah. So originally, it just came out in 1981 and. It kind of went under the radar, and a lot of artists were using it, but it really didn't get its accolades. And, you know, someone saw some value in it and decided to bring it back out in the digital form, and Martinique nailed it. I mean, my cousin had one, and I used to play it. And <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never, I, yeah. Didn't, I, I didn't have any equipment as a kid uh, because, you know, we were limited on the funds. And so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can feel you. Yeah. I feel you with that so one. So it was cool to go in and play with it for a little bit, then I had to go home and mm -hmm. think about it all night. But uh, I actually saw one, a hardware uh, model, at a store uh, not too far from here in Burbank at a place called Apex. It's a big electronics store. So, mm -hmm. you know, I build electronics and synthesizers, and I saw one uh, out in the back, but it was raining that day. So it was all beat up and destroyed, and they still wanted a couple hundred dollars for it, and I thought, that's ah, not worth it. And then literally about maybe... A little over a year and a half later, they announced that they're coming out with this. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. And um, ever since, it's been a great time just kind of going back in time, but also pushing the envelope and doing something uh, greater with the technology that was done at 81 and here in 2022. And it's an amazing piece. Well, it's got that it's vintage sounds of the, of the 80s, yeah, too. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's already there. So, mm -hmm. you know, with a lot of music coming out, you hear a lot of artists trying to bring back that sound. Mm -hmm. And you can try to get it with some of the uh, some of the other instruments, but mm -hmm. it's not there. But this, it's there. And yeah, but it's on point. It's, it looks just like the, the original one, too. You the, know what? The, 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 it's pretty much the same. It, it is, but even better because on the original one, it didn't have an arpeggiator. So the funny okay. thing is, okay. th they came out That's with this. Good. Yeah, and it was like a lot of menu diving. Yeah. And so now they've expanded it. They added an arpeggiator, which they did on the AX60. So they, mm -hmm. they came out with this, and then they rebranded it, and it was black, you know, and versus the gray. And then they added an arpeggiator. So what Martinic did was they took the best of both worlds but primarily kept the sound intact and okay and it's really great because before you had to you know push one button and you know use one little slider to try to mm -hmm. get around but now everything's laid out in front of you if we look at the interface here that's exactly how it looked but if you go here into the settings there's everything wow and you can see here this it has, is great it's amazing right you got yeah. your you know your vco you have all of your filters here. You have your envelopes, your LFOs. There's an arpeggiator again. Uh, there's a hold button, so you could do really cool things there. You could do an upper and lower, so you could have two different sounds. Yeah, you got to split. You, you can split, split it. Yeah. yeah. And then the crazy thing is that they even went a step further and added these amazing effects. So there's like a compressor, mm -hmm. chorus, flanger, phaser, delay, reverb. So you can get into real detail. Real detail. And and you can save all your presets, save whatever all you your, want. Yeah, yeah. It's instant recall. Yeah. And the crazy thing is here on the effects chain, you can actually d decide in which sequence and how everything's going to be set up. So you could bring in, you know, the chorus, and then you can, like, use the effects. Uh, like, for example, have the phaser, and then have the EQ, and then EQ what is happening, you know, based on the phase position, and it just opens up a whole other world. And all of the effects are MIDI controllable just by a simple click on this big MIDI, you know, five pin MIDI icon, and you can MIDI learn everything, and it just sounds incredible. And it's today just, really thought things out really nice, huh? You know what? This is a rare thing because a lot of people try to market things and mm -hmm. just you know, make something with yeah. face value, but the sound has no soul. But this, it's got soul. Yeah, but they really helped the player out. They sure did. Yeah, they, they so you can get your job done. 
get your job and, done, yeah. So what about what, um, any sounds uh, that you like? Um, well, you know, I got to be honest with you. Uh, when it comes you prefer? To, when it comes to synthesizers, it's got a lot of sounds. Like, as you can see, it's got its favorites. It's got the factory sounds. A lot of sounds that actually came with the unit. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I like to make sounds from scratch. Oh, hey, okay, <laughs> so let me see what you got. So let's see what I got. But just, <laughs> but just to make it fun, for, for someone that might be just starting out, they can go and just choose... Let's go with this Axo F bass, okay? Okay. Right. And let's see know, what that sounds like. It, I mean, it's got that that, and it's funny because synthesizers, a lot of them have their own personality, but it's difficult to get that sound unless you have that machine. Mm -hmm. And here it is on a laptop in this beautiful big studio, and it's doing what the original would have did, yeah. you know, almost. You know, basically, forty years ago. But that's actually a great sound. I mean, it's yeah. just look, just that by itself. Yeah. And if we wanted to, we can go in and you know, add some distortion. Okay, we can do that. It's got a little bite on it. We can drive it a little bit more, and we could you know add a little more of that to the mix here. Mm -hmm. And see how it's in slot eight. Mm -hmm. So you can go in and bring that distortion over here to the front and then, you know, activate this flanger and put the flanger before the distortion and do all these interesting, you know, mm -hmm. combinations. But let's 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 go ahead and try to show you what I can do. Okay. <laughs> so um so basically uh we got our presets, but for me I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get in here and and see what's going on. So if we go back out of the effects, we can come here and see the VCO one, VCO two. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. And we can offset this here. So this is different, but I think we can get this. So, but so you can hear these overtones. Mm -hmm. And if you look here, it shows you your waveform. So there's a, you know, a square wave. Mm -hmm. And there's a, you know, there's a sub. So you have all these opportunities to, you know, create your sound. And then here's your... You can get real. Oh, that's nice right there. Real nice. And then we add a little resonance in here. We can like really like make it ping. And all this can be automated too. Everything. So for example, if we go right here to this, you know, this MIDI, you know, image right here, mm -hmm. we can go ahead. Everything in purple could be MIDI learned. So we can go here and just assign this knob here just to move the octave and and so. And and the cool thing, it stays there. So if you want to, you know, move another parameter, just click on it for like even the waveform, which is something that you couldn't do, you know, with the hardware mm -hmm. without diving in and doing it that way. So let's do that and let's actually move this filter cutoff here and the resonance. And um, let's do this key follow as well. So that's that. And then we can. And then, like I said, on the original one, there wasn't an arpeggiator, but now they have one, and we could do something like this, like. And I'm gonna go a step further, and I wanna MIDI learn the speed of that arpeggiator. So we hit that, it's red. Let's just put it right here at the end. Now that's already done. We can go back up here to the MIDI knob, that's done, and now we can. All right, that's good. Yeah, so like something like that is just really incredible. And it took us literally just seconds to get something going. So for people that want to do film scores or any type of uh, interesting composition or techno or hip hop mm -hmm. or blues or rock or jazz or metal. I mean, we just touched the, you know, touched the surface, but in reality, there's much to be it's explored. unlimited. Unlimited. I'm unlimited, yeah. And, and on top of that, if you're someone who's just getting started working with synthesizers, there's plenty of sounds there for you. But I think the real beauty and power is where you get in there and start, you know, messing around. And but I like that vintage th sound that you can jump right into, and and also you can create your own thing. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and the, another thing I want to mention is like.
like you said, that old vintage sound, it's there. Yeah. Like, you know, which is being used now. All over the place. All over the place. On the weekdays mm -hmm. and with the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes on and on. <laughs> This goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, that's how it is. Right, right. Yeah, right. okay. And uh, and also for people that are thinking, well, I don't want the vintage sound. Well, oscillators are oscillators. And be creative. Filter stuff. Exactly. Be yeah. creative. And yeah. like, you can get into some new territory. Like, yeah. Yeah, still lead. Go out there and do something. Exactly. Yeah. Innovate. Yeah, they gave you the option to be creative. And that's all we can ask for. Yeah. You know? Martinic AX73, don't leave home without it. You yeah, know? this is this is for real. <laughs> you guys got to check this out. Okay, so um, you know, I'm really excited about this, and um, you know, I'm into the vintage sound, and everybody's bringing these retro things back, and most of our hits today are done with these sounds, and um, they created it really good, gave you so many options to be creative, go back to the vintage thing, and at the same time. Do your own thing. I like that. There's some freedom there. Freedom, and, yes. And, and Clifton, I really appreciate you coming out here to show us this, man. Thank you That's for having cool, me. Man. It's, it's a really good time. Thank it's you, great man. meeting you. Yeah, it's man. It's been a pleasure. All right. Yeah, thank you. Hey, we see you guys at um, Plug-In Masters and um, Audio Camp later. <laughs>